What's up guys? Beautiful day out here at the beach and I brought something I'm quite excited to try on camera. No, I'm not going to drink all this. Don't worry. I have got two whiskeys today that I want to talk about. One of which I've just kind of gotten to know a little bit and the other of which I've had for quite a bit of time now and I love it. Now recently I put up a poll on my other channel, uh, the fishing channel, Wildlife. Subscribe to that. I said, if I was going to go to the cooking show and do a review on a type of whiskey, what would you suggest that I pick? This one, hands down, this is Wild Turkey 101. Uh, you know it. It's one of the most common and easily accessible bourbons out there. Um, you see a list on YouTube or on Google of where to start with bourbon. This is going to be in the top five. So we got some of this. However, while I was shopping, I was also talked into buying this. And this is some of the best stuff I've ever had. This is Bonfire Whiskey. This is made in Texas in College Station. Anyway, we're going to try both. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about this one at length a little bit because I've gotten to know it a little bit better. Uh, but first, let's go to the Wild Turkey. All right, two different whiskeys. Uh, Wild Turkey, famously endorsed by Matthew McConaughey. I just, this is a coincidence that I had this. I did not pick this up for the review, just so you know. Let's read the back, shall we? For more than 60 years, legendary master distiller Jimmy Russell has been crafting Wild Turkey 101 the right way. With a high rye content, this iconic bourbon is perfectly aged for up to six to eight years in American oak barrels with the deepest char for more character. We bottle 101 at a higher proof and only when it reaches its full complex flavor of caramel, vanilla, toffee, and spice. As Jimmy says, like the Kentucky River, Wild Turkey 101 is mighty bold and it takes its own sweet time. I said a lot, but you know, marketing so it's gonna say a lot there's our wild turkey I like to taste it neat uh, I'm not gonna put water in there I'm not gonna put ice in there I want to taste it neat oh it smells good <laughs> yeah it's uh some of the other whiskeys I've had before that were a slightly lower proof did not have the alcohol hit quite as hard as this and I know what you're thinking if you're you know used to whiskeys this is not very hard um, but it's more noticeable than some of the other stuff I've had. God, it smells sweet. That caramel is not, it's not an exaggeration. Now, something to keep in mind when you're new to whiskey or really to any food or drink, your frame of reference to call upon when you're describing something is very limited. Uh, so I smell kind of a candy smell in here. So I'll refer to it as caramel, even though that's what the bottle said. I'm not copying the bottle. I just have a more limited frame of reference than a more experienced whiskey drinker. So yeah, I'm catching the same note that they're saying that they've got in here. It smells so good though. <clears throat> Let's have a go. <coughs> wow. So yeah, basically it tastes like you took a, a bit of caramel, melted it down, poured a bunch of black pepper in it, and put it in a bottle. It's really good, but that spice is definitely there. Yeah, I can feel it burning the tongue a little bit. Part of that's just due to how new I am at this, and part of it's due to uh, the design of this to have a bit of spice at the end of it. Oh, that's so nice though. That's good. I like that. I'm starting to discover, after having tried a couple of scotches and a couple of bourbons, I think I'm a bourbon guy. Now, if you're new to whiskey, you're on the same page as I am. Basically, my recommendation is going to be worth only what it means to hear someone new to whiskey describe how they feel about whiskey, and maybe you'll feel the same. I happen to really like Wild Turkey 101. Uh, it's not hard to drink, but it does have a little bit of spice. It does unfold. I don't want to sound pretentious like some people do where they're like, hmm, the palate is still unfolding. 
no, but you can feel more than one taste start to emerge. That's a real thing. Uh, and if you're really experienced at whiskey drinking, then you already know what I'm gonna say. Wild Turkey 101 is a damn good bourbon. It's simple, it's straightforward. Entry level, yeah, maybe. But you know, a lot of entry level things in life are really good, even when you get a whole lot better at it. Going back to the simple stuff, it's quite nice. All right, now I wanna talk about something that is a little meaningful to me because I actually feel like I kinda understand it a little bit better than I thought I would, which is this whiskey, Texas Bonfire, not only is it local to our state, uh, but uh, this is the first one I had where I was really like, you know what? I don't feel like I'm working so hard to drink this and I like it. And I also learned for the first time how to start detecting changing flavors um, as you were drinking the whiskey. So here's what I'm gonna do. First, I feel like we should read the back of this thing, give it the same treatment. Is there a back? There's no back to this thing, I just noticed that. But, uh, I mean, there's your Aggie Bonfire, hence the name. Great state of Texas, the little star for College Station. It's where my wife went to school. It's where a lot of people I know went to school. A creepy ice cream truck back there. Why is that still a thing? to you ice cream man anyway and of course the cannon anyway 45 percent alcohol it's aged for only three years so it's a pretty young bourbon uh, but uh, this stuff is so sweet so let's pour a little bit more and I'll show you why I'm not gonna drink a whole lot of this stuff because we're just tasting and I need to drive home but the reason I want to do that is because I'm gonna put a couple of drops of water in it I'm not gonna water the whiskey down, but I'm gonna add a few drops of water in there to activate the taste. What is it Britta says to Jeff Winger? They have the rules to poser drinking posted at L Street. No, if you pour a little tiny bit of water in here, it actually does change the flavor. It takes a little bit of the harshness out of it and it makes it taste like maple syrup. Real sweet, let's do it. All right, just a tad. I want just a drop in there. Ooh. That right there was generous. That might have even been a little much, but it'll be fine. Give it a second to work its magic. Oh man, that smells so good. Ah, talk about sweet flavors. That smells, that smells like a nice syrup. You go eat breakfast, that smells like you pour that right on your pancakes, which I think, yeah, that's a Mad Men thing. Sally Draper pours Don's rye on his uh, French toast because she thinks it's syrup. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. Oh, I'm, I can't drink all this because I got to drive home. This plus the other whiskey I was trying earlier. We got to be responsible, but man, I want to have it. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Bonfire whiskey, guys. Straight bourbon. It is real good, it's sweet, it's not harsh at all. You saw me even cough a little bit on that wild turkey. And if you've been drinking for any amount of time, uh, whiskey, you know that wild turkey is not especially harsh uh, for those who are used to it. Uh, so for me, someone who is so new that I cough on a, a little sip of wild turkey can drink this uh, without that, you know how smooth this is. And smooth is not something, from what I've been learning, smooth gets used a little much as a description, but basically it's just a, uh, a reference to the harshness of a whiskey. You know, for someone who's new like me to be able to drink this without coughing or choking or feeling like it's too much too soon, uh, it goes down without a bite, without a harshness to it. It's smooth whiskey. Tastes like syrup. It's real nice. So definitely check that out. This goes for about $27 a bottle where I am. That changes uh, based on your location. And then uh, the wild turkey goes for like $16, $20. So real good budget stuff. This is not meant to be a groundbreaking review. I really hope someone doesn't come here thinking that they're gonna learn all about whiskey. That's not the point. Uh, the point is that I'm experiencing whiskey. I'm trying to get to know it a little better. I'm trying to enjoy it while I'm outdoors. Uh, you know, I felt it fitting to do a little bit of a 
the Matthew McConaughey endorsed whiskey on the beach. If only I had a hammock and a little bit more shade, it would have been perfect. Or would it have been... I'm not going to do it. No, I got to do it. All right, all right, all right. I'm very sorry for that, but I mean, come on. I had to. That'll just about do it for us today. I'm very sorry once again. But how many times do you get to do this on camera? You got to take advantage of this. It is just It would seem shoehorned in if I did it again, but we're talking about him, so got to do it. That'll do it for us today. Uh, nothing groundbreaking, just a lot of fun for me to try a couple of different whiskeys. I'm learning as I go. Uh, don't take anything I say without a big glass of salt. Um, I am not an expert on anything, especially whiskey, but I can tell you what I like, and I like wild turkey, and I love that Texas bonfire. That is good stuff. If you can find some of that, definitely check it out. If you're in the Texas area, or if they're selling it out of state, I don't know, definitely look to find that, because that is good stuff. All right, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. More is coming. Stay tuned, and until it's here, I will see you guys later.